This AI agent reads stock charts like a Wall Street Pro, and you can build it without any code. Let me show you exactly how it works by being able to grab live data from a chart that's able to show the stock price, the volume trading, lots of information about that, and give you insight like you can see on the left hand side here around being able to make a prediction on that stock, whether you should buy it, sell it, whatever it may be. But first, let's jump into a quick demo to see exactly how it works. We'll be able to come to the left hand side here where we've got our Telegram chat message. We'll be able to say, tell me about Apple. We'll come across and we're going to do test workflow and we'll do send that off. Now we can see here it's going through and analyzing the request that we've got. We're going to get our chart back almost automatically straight away so that we've got this insight. I'll be able to show you here how we're able to get the stock chart. We're able to share it back into Telegram, analyze the chart. If we come back across to our AI agent, as you can see here, it's now analyzed all of this information that we got back. And as you can see here, we've got a really detailed breakdown when it comes to the stock chart of Apple. And we can see whether we should buy it, hold it, key fundamentals, so that we can go through and use this. If this is something that you want to see, make sure to come across to our community. You'll be able to get access to all of the resources from day one. And we'll be able to come into the classroom, come down to AI agents. We'll come down to where we've got here, build your own stock market analyst. And we've got all of the different prompts in here plus all of the blueprints ready to go. So no matter if you want to actually run it maybe on a schedule so that it goes through daily, you download the JSON file here, come back across to this new environment you set up, import from file, select the JSON, and then it'll be all ready to go through you straight away so you don't need to do a thing. Stay tuned and we're gonna walk through exactly how to build this together today. So we're gonna get rid of all of this. We're gonna go through now, I've already got a Telegram agent ready to go on the left-hand side here. If you've not done it before, you want to come back to where you've got bot father. If you've not used bot father before, you want to come up to the top, search for bot, and there we go, bot father. Then you want to go through and you want to do new bot. You go through, give it a name, you'll get an access token. It will look something like this. Come back into your account, come down to where you've got credentials, create a new credential and add it in there for the access token, and you'll be good to go. For a bit of time though, we're going to already have this set up. So we're going to be using this one. The first node we are using though is for Telegram. And we're going to come down and we're doing triggers and we're doing on chat message or on message here, which is this one. So that's the one that you want to use if we're going to go through and build it from scratch. We're going to do our AI agent first. There we go, AI agent. We're connected to our chat trigger node here. We're going to do our open AI brain. So again, keeping that cost nice and low with chat GPT 4.0. We'll call this our AI agent brain. We'll just rename this to our master analyst agent. And then what we'll also need to do as well is give this a quick test so we can get some key inputs for a bit later on. So we'll come down, we'll do define below. We'll do hold just because we need to go through and give it a test. So we'll come to the left hand side. We'll come across, we'll do test. We'll be able to send this off. We'll do test step. And then what we should do is get the inputs that we're going to need to use for this conversation. So we've got here lots of information. So we're going to need to come down. We're going to do system message because we need our AI agent to have a prompt. We'll be able to come back to the community. We'll be able to come down to this master stock market agent. We'll be able to copy all of the prompts that we've got in here. And then we'll come back across to our agent, change to expression, pop this out. And we're going to paste all of the information in here. Again, walk through it in your own time, nice and slow. And the key part is we've added today's date down here as well. So it's got reference to that. What we are going to do though is come up to the top. We're going to change that user message. We're going to pop this out and we're going to be able to pull it across. So it's now got that input from the text in our Telegram message. We're going to be able to do our simple message. We're going to change this to define below. I'm going to use the chat ID just because this is for that conversation thread so we can use it. And we'll just rename this to our chat history. There we go. We'll add this up here. Now we're going to go through the first part, which is how to add in maybe a lower complexity, easier version. So we'll be able to do SERP API. We'll be able to add this in here. We're going to need to add our credentials. So again, to do that, you need to add your API key. You're going to want to come across to SERP API. You want to log in on your dashboard. You'll see this private API key here. You get a hundred free searches, your API key in there from SERP, and you'll be all good to go. I've already got my credentials in there, so we'll be good. And all we need to do is add that in there. You can come down, for example, and do country. So you can do US. Again, you can add this if you want it to be your local region, device. You can add Google domain. So again, there you can do language. So maybe English in this case. Again, you can go through and make some of those changes, but they're not as important. We'll be able to rename this to search internet and we'll be able to do save. So now what we'll be able to do is if I come through, we'll be able to say, please tell me about Apple's performance. 
we'll be able to send this off. Now, if we do test workflow, what we'll be able to get is some high level, high level information back about Apple's performance based on a quick Google search. So there we go. If we open this up, we can now see here, we've now got some high level information, which again, is not really backed by anything to the moment. That's why we want to go through it and give it a bit more details. But what we'll do here quickly is do Telegram. Telegram will come down here. We'll do send a message. There we go. We've got a send a text message. And then what we're going to do is pull our chat ID across. And we're going to pull across the output from our agent so that we can go through and use that. So now if I do test step on the left hand side here, you'll see that we get some high level information back based on that SERP API request that we sent through a bit earlier to search the internet. We'll do save. We're now going to come through here and do call NA10 workflow. We're going to need to add some parameters in here because this is going to be our get chart module. We'll be able to save that in there. Now what we want to do is come across to where we've got a new space. So for example, YT demo chart. We'll add our next step. We'll do when executed by another workflow. We're going to change it to define using JSON. And then I want you to replace what's in here with stock ticker and chat ID so that we'll be able to go through and get this. So now if I come back across to our space, what we should be able to do is YT. We'll be able to see YT demo chart. And now we've got the option to include this. So what we just need to do quickly is give it another test so that we'll be able to send off the element. So get chart, we'll come in here. Actually, we'll just rename the description. So we'll change it to expression, we'll pop it out and then we'll paste in here. So again, we're just having our chat ID that we'll be able to send through. We'll also be able to copy this and paste this into the Telegram chat ID. We'll just change this to expression and then paste in there. And the stock ticker, we're gonna let AI define to be able to send it across. So we'll be able to do save, come out of here. We'll be able to say, please tell me about Apple. We'll be able to send this off. We can do test workflow. We'll be able to trigger our sub workflows. So now if we come back across, what we should see in the executions is that we're able to receive this information, which is great. We know it's all being saved across, which is exactly what we want. We'll be able to copy all of this information, ignore what's going on on the left-hand side here. That's just the response that was coming back automatically. We'll go into editor, we'll pop this out. And then we're going to paste in there, save, so that we pin this data and we'll be able to go through and do our testing. So what we're going to need to do next is come through. We're going to need to do HTTP request. Now I'm going to be using Finviz actual API here that we're going to be able to go through and use. The reason for this is because Investopedia, so a platform that's really good for teaching and training about finance and much more, says it's one of the best for swing traders. So again, it's starting to give that real-time insights. And most importantly, it's free for us to use to be able to send this request off. So what we're going to need to do is come in here and add our URL. We're going to change it to expression. We're going to pop this out. We're going to paste this command in here. So we're basically adding our stock ticker in here. So as you can see on the right hand side, one of the features I love about NA10, we can see it's going to be passing Apple into this expression to send it off. So now we'll be able to rename this to get chart. We'll be able to do test step. And now what we see on the right hand side is the ability to get that chart back so that we can go through and use it. So we'll wait for this to come back. There we go, that's how quick it is. So now we can do view. And as you can see here, we've now got that chart that's come back and we'll be able to download it if we wanted to as well. So what we're gonna come through and do next is we're gonna do Telegram again. Telegram, Telegram. We'll be able to open this up. We'll be able to look for send a photo message. We're gonna say that it's a binary file. We'll come across to schema. We're gonna put across our Telegram chat ID make sure it's an expression. And now we'll be able to send this back into our chat. So if I do test step, as you can see here, we've now got the ability to send it back into our chat, nice and easy. What we're also gonna do is come through, we'll do Telegram. This is more just from our formatting side. We'll do send, and then we're looking for text message. We're gonna say the chat ID again, come back to the start, put across. We're gonna say the text is, your chart is ready for, and then we can say the stock ticker then we can say we are building out a detailed breakdown now the reason for this because of course this is going to send it back much quicker before our ai agent responds because it's part of this workflow versus aggregated together so we'll be able to say chart i'm going to rename this to confirm chart share there we go you can come back into here and you can add different fields if you want again markup all of this sort of stuff depends on what you want we're running through that ai agent part first what we are going to do though is come through to him we'll do open ai we're then looking for analyze so we're going to do analyze an image we're looking to add it in here so we're going to be our chat gpt 40 or you can come down on chat gpt 40 mini we're going to be using a binary file because we've got it on the left hand side here 
We're going to need to change our text input, i.e. guiding it on what it's looking for. We can come back to the community, get rid of this. We'll look for our stock chart analyzing prompt. We'll be able to copy this. We'll come across and we're going to paste in here. So now we'll be able to use it. Again, we'll be able to close this down. We can do test step. Now what it will be able to do is because we've got this binary file, i.e. this chart on the left-hand side here, we'll be able to analyze it and send it back out. And now we've got some detailed information if I come across a JSON that we'll be able to use in our analysis a bit later on. We'll be able to do save and we'll call this analyze chart. And of course, because we're using a execute through another workflow, what this will do is it's going to send it back to our main AI agent so that we can go through it and use it together. So now what we'll be able to do is if I come through and say, please tell me about Apple again, copy and then paste. So now we'll be able to do test workflow. We'll be able to get this request. We're going to trigger our chart. So as you can see there, it's come back incredibly quickly. That's why we said we're building out the detail breakdown now, because what it's still doing is it's going through and using our open AI module. So if I come across, you'll see the executions. We're able to get some detailed insights into this specific chart, which was then passed back to our AI agent. This is why we've got this second execution here. And as you can see on the left-hand side here, it's now got that detail breakdown ready to go and be able to use. So again, this is the easiest way of using it to be able to get that stock analysis. Make sure to come across to our community. We'll get access to all of these resources, plus much, much more that we've got in here as well. So if you're interested in learning more about AI and automation, make sure to check it out. Stay tuned for more around AI agents, automation, and have a great day.